Clemson loses a three in a row, taking on undefeated Virginia, led by Marcus Hagens. Hagens connecting with Heath Miller. Heath Miller diving for the pylon. All six foot five of them. Hagens, 14 to 26 for 225. Take another look at his full extension. The full extension by Miller for the score. Four catches, 55 yards for him. Virginia in the Clemson red zone. But Wally Lundy loses it. Clemson recovers at their own six. Would it matter? No, because Lundy is gone after that fumble, and in comes Alvin Pierman. Pierman would make his presence felt at tailback, running for 18 yards here. That would lead to a 50-yard field goal, one of three field goals by Connor Hughes in this game. 16-10, Virginia. Pierman looking for space, gets it for 20 yards. Virginia rushed for 239 yards in this game. First play of the four, same drive. Pierman doesn't miss from there. Virginia wins by 20. Pierman off the bench, rushes for 104 yards and two touchdowns in that fourth quarter. The Cavaliers improved to 5 and 0 for the first time since 1998, but the schedule's about to get a lot tougher. Three ranked foes await, starting with next week's visit to Florida State. And after playing four of its first five games at home, what happens to Virginia? Talk about a test. Cavs hit the road for four of its remaining six. Final school night. Take Linda's class. Your final exams are always multiple choice. Fourth quarter, buck 40 left. Southern missed down 29-21. Dustin Allman, your quarterback, going, sweeping left. Get the pylon. Get the house. He's in. That's a touchdown, but down he goes hard. Grabs the left hamstring. He would have to leave the game. Pulled hamstring, not returning. Look at him. Ah! Down he goes. Painful. Had to limp off the field. Backup QB, Damon Carter, you're in, you're on. Number two needs a two-point conversion for the tie. Anthony Harris would take care of it, number three. We're tied at 29. Ensuing kickoff, it's rule. After, after you score, you get a kickoff. Donnie Avery, there you go. He's gonna down it, that's pretty wise. Except head coach Jeff Bauer on the other side, he goes ballistic, he knows the rules. Pretty sure that one was violated here that Avery stepped out of the end zone. Look at it again, he's back, and then, woo, oh my goodness. Is that a top play nominee? I, well, it should be for a Friday night when they have the not-so-top okay. 10. Anyway, we move on. We're going to go to overtime. First and goal. Carter still in because the other fella can't play. He got a bum leg. Throws the TD. Both, though, great. Makes the grab. Carter's third TD, third pass of the season. Good for the TD. But the extra point is blocked. Houston can't take advantage. Last chance. Fourth and 13. Kevin Cole, fine player. Going up top, throws incomplete. No, sir. Southern Miss wins at 35-29. The Golden Eagles 4-0 for the first time since 1981. John Robinson's UNLV running Rebels at BYU. Third quarter, Deontay Perkins on third and one for Vegas. Puts them up 21-20 after they trail 10-7 at halftime. Vegas got 14 points in the third quarter. Here's your ball game. BYU down four, 24-20. Two and a half to go. John Beck. Todd Watkins crumbling down the bottom, but he coughs it up. Not loose. Vegas recovers, and they hold on and win the game. UNLV 24-20. They beat BYU.